welcome back to my YouTube channel for hairdressing. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial and demonstration of how to do a victory roll and some finger waves. Now I'm going to be using the one and only Lorna Evans hair tools. Now I've got her famous needle which comes in a nice silk bag so I'm going to use that for our victory roll today and I want you to see how easy it is to use once you have really really good tools. I've also got her big giant tail comb. Now this sounds awesome, I've seen a lot of hairdressers using it and I really want to give it a go in our hairstyling today. Since beginning hairdressing, I've always said that the tail comb is your best friend in hair ups. So I'm really, really eager to see what this little baby is going to do for me, or I should say big baby. <laughs> I'm also going to give the curve comb a go as well. Um, I have seen people using this and it does look absolutely amazing. So I'm so excited to get it out of its box and in my toolkit and ready to use. So let's have a play with that too. And finally, I also got some um, clips. Now this is really, really good for vintage waves. Um, instead of using, you know, your butterfly clips or um, just normal sectioning clips, these actually have a nice curve to it and it actually curves with the head. So I'm really excited to use this in this hairstyle today too. So today's going to be basically a demonstration and tutorial on how to do a victory roll and vintage waves around the face. Um, but in doing that, I'm also going to do a review on the Lorna Evans hair tools as well during the whole time of doing this hair up. Just so then that way you can see what it's like um, through me doing the hairstyling and then that will really make you realize how much you want the stuff in your kit. So let's get started and let's have some fun doing some hairdressing. So starting off your styling with an undercover protection and um, I'm using the White Sands undercover. I absolutely love it and I've actually dried it into the hair. So when the hair was wet, I sprayed it in, I dried it in. That's going to give my hair ultimate protection. And now I'm going to use my Liquid Texture Firm Hold by White Sands. And that's going to basically hold my style in. I have not found anything as amazing as White Sands Liquid Texture Firm Hold um, for doing hair ups. So if you are looking for a new product, this one I would highly recommend. So what I'm going to do is spray that all the way through the hair and I'm going to dry that in as well. And you just wanna make sure that you get it all over the head. You want to up the top as well, as close to the roots as you can as well. It will just really help. Now it's really important that you brush this through um, because as you can see me lifting up the hair, because this firm spray is so strong, you can see it's like slightly wanting to feel knotty um, and we don't like to style with knotty hair. So I'm just going to use a paddle brush and I'm just going to run that through the ends. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm just going to run the brush through one more time and then we can start sectioning. Okay, so I've got the nice big giant tail comb. Now this baby is made out of heat resistant carbon fibres. Now that is amazing because I do have a comb similar to this um, that I got years and years and years ago and it's fantastic to use when you're straightening hair or using any hot tools. So absolutely love this. The amount of times that I've had um, you know, your normal tail comb and you've thrown it onto your trolley and it's hit the hot tongs and then you've got your bristles all melted. I've done that so many times. So this, oh, this will be amazing. <laughs> so when you're styling, you want to make sure that you know what style you're doing to begin with. So you want to know where the parting is, you want to know all of that. Just because if you don't know all of that before you begin, then how do you know what direction your hair's going to go into? So what I'm going to do is on the right side, I'm going to have this side going up into a victory roll and I'm having this side going into your nice waves down the side and I'm just going to have the rest all down at the back um, and we're just going to um, use our nice curve comb to help with the, the crown area and around the face line and we're also going to be using the clips to be able to do the vintage waves around the face and we're also going to be using the needle by Lorna Evans 
on the side for that victory roll. So in saying that, we're now going to find our parting. So looking in the mirror, we're going to find the parting. So I want it just off center because I wouldn't mind it draping over the face a little bit on this mannequin. And then we'll get nice height as well. I gotta say guys, this comb is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so now that I've got the parting sorted, now this is where my vintage waves are gonna come down and sweep into the rest of the hair at the back. So what we wanna do is come down on a nice angle from the top and we wanna come down towards behind the ear. Now the reason why I haven't gone straight down is because you've got your crown area here and if I make this point up the top quite wide, then this wave is going to go forward and you're gonna have a really nice big gap on the side of the head and we don't want that. So we want some height at the back um, of the crown and we also want the, the waves to go forward at the front. Okay, and now on the other side, we basically just want to make sure that that matches on this side too. So that's our section across the top here. There's our parting. So what we wanna do is do a similar thing and come back on an angle. So then that way we have enough hair to do our victory roll. And what that's going to do is that's gonna come back and it's gonna sit up high just there. And again, you can see I'm not taking too much from my crown area because I want to make sure that I can have some nice height happening in here. Okay, so now we are left with the back. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to half the amount of hair so I can start at the nape area. And we're gonna start down the bottom at the nape. Okay, and neat sectioning is quite important. And using this comb is actually really handy because it fits my hand nicely. It's light, it's not heavy. And I'm able to take that clear sectioning really, really well. It combs through the hair really nice. Whereas if I use the other tail comb, the tension is quite tight. So I would say if you're doing a set with wet hair and you're putting set rollers in, then your original tail comb would be best because it does have the tighter bristles. But in saying that, if you are after something that doesn't really need tension, but you just wanna be able to quickly get through things, then this tail comb is really good with the wide um, bristles in there. So I'm using 40 mil double curl clips today. Now, you don't have to use these, you can use the singular ones. I'm going to be using these ones today, but I do recommend that if you can get your hands on the singular ones, they are much easier and better to use because that way you won't distort the hair if you are going to like leave them in a set roller position. But today I'm going to be using these. So what I'm going to do now is use my muck stick and I'm going to position the hair as though I'm doing a set and I'm going to do that all the way up to the top of the crown. I'm going to do it all on base. This is going to make sure that I have a, ni a nice amount of height happening from the roots, but I'm also going to have that beautiful curl drop as well. So um, on base set is what I'm going to be doing, but with on dry hair with my muck stick. And if you are after a review on the muck stick curlers, I do have a video um, on my channel on what I thought of the muck stick curlers and how to use them, so be sure to check them out. So what I've done up the top is I've just made a nice V section here, and what that's gonna do is still allow me to do a brick form um, but also let my curls join into the front. Okay, so we've done the set rollers throughout the back. Now I'm going to give it a really nice spray. We want those rollers to feel really crispy. So what we're going to do is exactly what we've done at the back. Um, we're basically gonna go straight through the top. So let's get started and let's do the front finger waves.
Okay, so I've done the front now. You can see that I've just gone on base curls um, all the way up the side of the face and they're all going into the direction I want it to go into. So moving on to the victory roll now, if we were to do the rollers exactly the same around the head, what that would do is give us height here and it will drag our roots here, which means if I'm combing in this direction, what that's gonna do is give me nothing. So what I wanna do is the opposite. So I'm doing the opposite to what I've done all over the head. So then that way I have some root lift around the face, around the ears, because I don't want to have a flat piece of hair along the side of her face. So instead of doing the same direction as the other side, I'm going to be going towards the crown area. So my rollers are going to be heading towards that crown. So taking a diagonal section over the ear and we're going on base. Okay, so now I've done that, we're just now gonna spray with some hairspray. So now we're at the step of taking our rollers out. So I'm gonna start off with doing it at the back first. So I'm just gonna take all of these pins out, loosen all the back out, and then I'm gonna use my cushion brush and I'm just going to brush it all through just to loosen all that product in there so then it's not too crispy, it's nice and soft. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my gosh, it's so frizzy, but don't stress. This is how it's always gonna look before you do um, the final style. So you wanna brush it all out. It will go frizzy, any curls would, but then that's when you use your beautiful curve comb and that will just define everything nice and smooth with some extra product. And I'm just going to grab some Oasis Wind Touch. It's like a light volume paste. So just run it all over your hands so it's nice and spread and just run it through. So you can use um, a cream. I like my Vitalizer by RPR and I also do like the Serena Key um, Shea Cream. That is really cool too for styling. So you can use a mixture of all of that if you'd like. Um, the Wind Touch is basically like, it's a level one hold so it's very light so you can brush it out. Okay, so uh -huh, this is so cool. Comb through the hair. And once you get to the point where you can't actually um, comb all the way down, just hold it in certain sections so you're not pulling that tension tight. Okay, so I'm just going to use some serum now and I'm just going to pop a little bit on my hand and rub it all in. And I'm using the Serena Key Serum. I love the smell and it's like that signature smell whenever someone comes into my hair salon. I'm gonna run this curve comb through and as you're doing it, I just want you to be really mindful that if you pull the tension really tight, that's going to release a lot of those beautiful waves. So every time it dents in, just grab it with your hand. And you can see that you've got that beautiful wave happening in there. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna put the wind touch through all of the, um, the hair. Okay, so going through section by section, so the wind touches throughout the back. And now we're just gonna grab a little bit of Serena Key. So this is the Serena Key that I'm absolutely in love with. So definitely try some if you can get your hands on it. The supplies down in Melbourne definitely sell it and I know you can get it online. So when you're finalizing your styling, you want to be really, really gentle with the hair. You don't want to overdo it. Um, you just want to make sure that all that fuzziness is away and you, you've just got to give it some love. If you're going to be too rough with it, it will start going fuzzy and, 
and um, out of control. This curve comb is fantastic because I'm not having to worry about doing section by section by section by section. I'm actually doing four sections at once, four sections at once. And what it's doing is actually blending these waves together so beautifully because I can actually do the whole back all together. So it's really, really nice size. It's light in the hand and it's actually working beautiful. And this too is actually heat resistant. So putting it on my trolley next to a hot tool, great idea. Fantastic, I love it. So what we want to do is just comb down and then we want to hook our comb up and that's going to give us our nice height. Pop your thumb in there and we just want to comb down again and hook under. And we just want to try and do that all the way down as much as we can and that will just be a continuous wave. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Lorna Evans Silk Sock. Now what we do recommend as hairdressers um, for people that have hair extensions and um, if we've got you know the rags in our hair um, is to sleep on a silk pillow. And what I do like about this needle is that she's actually made a silk sock for this needle and this can be used in many ways in hairdressing as well. So because I've got a lot of fuzzies happening here, we don't want to put too much oil in the hair because that will drab it down and it won't last as long as well because we're now going to put something heavy on top of all that other product of lacquer and everything on top. So um, what I'm going to do now is show you a little trick that I've seen Lorna do herself and um, we're going to basically rub this along the hair and that will just flatten all those fluffiness um, flyaways down and just give it a really nice sleek look. So we just want to basically run it down and just zigzag it all the way down. Um, if you stand on the side of the hair, you can actually see it working really, really well. So you can see here, you've got a lot of fuzziness um, happening through the ends. So what we're going to do is just rub that silk sock on there. So here's the back of our beautiful vintage waves. Now you can see that we've got beautiful height happening in here. We can use our tail comb to lift it up a little bit more if we want to. Now just so you know, I have done no back combing in this whatsoever. And you can see that you've got just a beautiful natural height happening throughout that crown area up here. So that is just by doing our rollers on base. So now we're going to do our vintage wave on the side of the face and we're going to have it sweep down the side of the face and join into the back. What we're going to do is use our beautiful um, section clips, um, which will be for the vintage waves. They've got a nice angle on them, like a little curve. So not as much as the curve comb, but it is enough for us to be able to hold our, our wave perfectly. So we're going to take these rollers out now. Okay, and using our brush, we're just going to brush this out as well. Now you can do this section while you're doing the back if you feel that's more comfortable. I'm just doing it in separate sections so then that way you've got something to follow while you're learning. So I've just brushed that and that's what I've been given already. I haven't done any finessing or whatsoever. And you can see it's just beautiful around her face already. But once we do finesse and we do play around with it, it's going to look even better. Um, what I am gonna do as well is I'm just gonna release the back here because I want to be able to glide this, this wave in together. And I might even be able to have some of this pinching up here, joining where the crown is, and then it will blend in nicely. So now I'm going to use my Wind Touch by Osis, that's Schwarzkopf. Just gonna pop a little bit on my hands and I'm just gonna run it all over my hand. So it's all spread through. And we're now going to just run that through. This is gonna give it some body and it's just gonna hold what we have there. And then I'm going to pop some of Serena Key oil in there as well. So once you've got that product in there, we're now going to use our curve comb 
turn the comb around. So I've been combing it down like you would normally with a, with a comb. But what we wanna do is flick it around because we're gonna do our nice push up. So we want to comb down and then we wanna flick the comb and we wanna push up. So when it goes high, that's when we wanna flick and push. And that's gonna give us our first little indentation. And in doing that, we're going to then use our section clip and pull out. Using our tail comb, we're then going to just go through there. We're gonna slide it underneath and we're just going to push it up into that section clip. So once we've done that now, we're going to move on to the next one and we wanna be very careful that we don't pull it out of that section clip. So again, where the highest point is, and so this time we're going to push up. Using our large tail comb. You just wanna make sure that you can hook that where the teeth are. So you'll see that in the clip, you've got the teeth in here. And what you wanna do is basically get that tail comb. You wanna flick it through underneath and push the hair to above those teeth and then clamp it shut. Because sometimes when you do your flick and push, you're basically placing it here, but there might be hair stuck where the teeth are still. So just getting your tail comb and pushing it up really does help. Now the next one I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do it with my other tail comb, just so we can see the difference in doing it. Um, because I really wanna show you how cool that tail comb is. So, and again, be careful when you're combing that hair because you don't wanna distort anything. And comb, you can see I'm using my hand to guide me, my fingers, and we just wanna hook that again. Now we wanna grab our little section clip again. Okay, so now we're going to use the old tail comb and I'm gonna slip that in. Now, as what you can see here, that's happening, the end of my tail comb actually hits only halfway to where that clip is. And that's why this giant tail comb really does help because it's the length of that clip. So sliding that in and then pushing that hair up, you're getting it all in one go. You don't have to go on the other side and, and try and fiddle around and everything. So it's really helping with, um, with getting it done quick and getting it done properly. So let's do that again. I'm just gonna give that a nice bump. Now I'm, I don't have any head to work with here. I'm basically down near the ear. So what I'm using is my middle finger as a little guide to be able to crimp that. Um, and then that way I can then squeeze up and clamp. So then that way I don't have to rely on anything um, like the head to be able to push on. So that's really important actually, if you're finding that hard to do at home, um, it wouldn't be you. It's just the fact that um, the head isn't there to support you. And um, you just wanna make sure that you can use your other hand to guide you and support where that curl is gonna sit. You can see I've got all of those clips through there. It's clamped nicely, they're sitting nicely and the blend into the back is quite nice too. I can use my tail comb to just lift the back bits if I want to as well, just so then that way it's a better blend. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to spray this and let it set again. So using my sculpture hairspray and I'm just gonna give that a nice spray all the way through. So while the other side's drying, we're now going to do the other side where the victory roll is. And that's where this really cool needle um, by Lorna Evans comes in handy. So we're going to use this to make our victory roll. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do a victory roll with this tool. So taking all the pins out of the rollers, and again, we're going to use our cushion brush and we're just going to brush it through so it's nice and smooth. So you can see on this side how it looks different to the other side because we're not getting any volume at the root. So I'm just gonna pop some oil in there. I don't really wanna put some Osa's stuff in there really um, because I want to be able to really control this. We're wrapping it, we're pinning it. So we're just gonna pop a little bit of oil in there and just have a little bit of a play. So 
doing our victory roll, we're just going to section the back out of the way. And we're now going to have our bobby pins ready. And we're going to use our giant tail comb, half the amount around the face, and we're going to comb it in the direction up towards that crown area because we want it to sit on that nice angle. So switching to my other tail comb now, just because those teeth are quite tight together, um, opposed to the large tail comb, and I want this tension to be quite tight. So I'm just gonna comb it up. And as you can see, I'm just combing it over my hand here. And I'm just gonna grab some hairspray and I'm just gonna give it a nice light mist. And then while it's wet, I'm just gonna give it a nice comb again. And you can see that beautiful root lift happening in here. And that's because we did the rollers going towards the crown and we've gone up on an angle, which is the direction that we want that vintage roll to go in. So what we wanna do now is just get our big tail comb and get rid of all those knots on the ends. And then back to our small tail comb for that tension towards the roots. Okay, and so now we've got our bobby pins ready and we're just gonna use our Lorna Evans needle now and we're just going to basically wrap the hair around the needle. So I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna keep rolling that all the way in. And just keep turning. And what's really cool about this is I have control, I'm, it's sitting exactly where I want it and it's not going to move. I, I've got my hand free. Back in the day, we used to have to wrap our hand um, with the hair to get this to work. So um, having this needle is actually really, really awesome. So now we like the top. So once we like the top, which what I'm doing here is I'm just going to give it a nice comb run my tail comb over the top there, make it nice and smooth, spray it with some hairspray. So if you're not careful, it will slip out because, you know, obviously there's not a lot of grip on this, um, on this needle, um, but that's, you don't want a lot of grip because if it did have a lot of grip on the needle, then I wouldn't be able to slide it around and slide it out. So now that we've got that into position, I'm now going to start pinning that, which means I'll take that out and we're going to get our pins and we're now going to pin it. Okay, so let's give that a spray. Now you can see there's a little bit of tension lost here, so I'm just going to fix that up. That does have a nice wave to it though from those, those curling tongs, but what we'll do is we'll just tighten that up a little bit. I'm just going to slide that back in. And we're just gonna use my small tail comb again, just so then that way I've got the tension. That's the only reason why I've gone back to it. And we're just gonna grab our needle. We're gonna put the sock on it this time and I'm just gonna use the ends, um, the edge, just to give that really nice smooth roll effect and just push that roll up a little bit and that's just going to give us a really nice opening. So there you are, there's that beautiful victory roll using the Lorna Evans needle. And we've got beautiful tension there, we've got beautiful height around the face. So if you were to look at her face front on, we've got that beautiful height just happening in here. So that's really, really nice. So lightly taking these section clips off the hair, we, do, we don't want to distort anything. We just want to lightly take them off. We want to see what's set and how and what we have. And it is looking absolutely gorgeous. It's giving a really nice point in those waves. So we just want to use our curve comb and we just want to soften that up a little bit. And I'm just going to basically just lighten up those roots a little bit there. And we just want to, you know, just make sure that it's not looking too stiff. No one likes stiff hair. Um, and we just want to make sure that, you know, it's, it's sitting nicely and on a nice angle and we just want to blend that into the back end of the hair design. So looking at the style from the front, um, overall that Victory Roll has worked amazing. I absolutely love this uh, needle. It's so cool. It's so simple but it really does help. It's like another hand. It's like having another hand. 
when you do French rolls, victory rolls, um, back in the day, you used to have to use your hand and sliding your hand out of a victory roll or a French roll, oh my goodness, it was just, oh, it felt so sloppy, but we did it and it always looked good. But having this, um, it definitely, definitely helps. And it just gives us that extra hand um, when you're, you know, trying to be quick. You don't want to take forever doing something. So having something that can slide in, help you, and it's just basically one really long finger, um, it definitely helps. And using this casing, um, even in the victory roll, making sure that the, the hair is nice and, um, you know, defined and it really, really softens the look. Um, absolutely love the idea of the casing. Really, really good idea. So now moving on to the back, just where we've pinned that victory roll, it's really nice to not have two openings. So having it closed at the back, open up the front, really gives it a character. Having those vintage waves softly come down into that nice point down the bottom is really, really, really softening and really elegant. So with the side, I really do feel like these clips have helped. Um, the difference between this and a butterfly clip is that the butterfly clip definitely wants to grab more hair. Whereas I feel like this clip it's got a really nice angle towards the head, but it also grabs just enough for what it needs. It doesn't grab the whole lot, so you're not distorting all that's underneath. Um, so you're still getting your height from underneath, but it's just crimping just that slight edge, and it's giving that nice pivot point, so then you've got that really nice defined look. As far as tools go, I haven't seen anything on the market like Lorna Evans stuff. Um, so definitely check out her website. I love all the stuff that she's selling, um, gradually building up my kit with all her stuff too. And um, she does offer a lot of online videos as well. So definitely check out Lana Evans and definitely check out all her stuff too. Um, I hope you like my video and my tutorial today. I hope this is really fun for you at home, trying to practice or just doing something new or even looking out for new stuff or new tools. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video today and I'll see you in my next tutorial or review. Bye for now. Bye.